Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. We're back with what should have been the tail end of our 15th Flosstube episode. Yes. We had some technical difficulties and we left off what Steph got at the shop in Piqua. Yep. The Tapestry Angel. Tapestry Angel. So, Stephanie, what did you get? Okay. So, first of all, um, there was so much that I just didn't want to record it because there was so much. So, I did categorize it for your viewing pleasure. So, by the way, if you're first, if you're like scrolling through Floss Tube and you're like, who are these random ladies? I'm Steph. Oh, and I'm Pam. And this is just Keep Stitching, episode number 15B. I got my nails done this morning. Uh oh. They meant to my shirt. Just saying. Okay. So, um, I did categorize these patterns. So, um, the first category is random. Okay. So, um, if you remember, my mom got this is from Bent Creek, the photo booth series, and she got Uncle Sam or in the Bald Eagle, whatever. Um, well, I got, um, in mine, I got bacon and eggs. Wait for it. If you're eating anything, I recommend you pause to swallow. If you're drinking, I. Also recommend that you pause, swallow, and then proceed. Because this is hysterical. Ready? Go. Bacon and eggs. Okay. This is so funny. My favorite one is where their legs are in the air. Because Lord knows what they're doing behind the camera. These are so funny. I mean, look at that. And it comes with the fabric and all the buttons. I mean, hello. I'm going to stitch that. Love it. Um, and then... This is Lizzie Cates. She believes she could, number 180. I'll read it before I show it. It says, everything changed the day she figured out there was exactly enough time for the important things in life. And then the other one said she believes she could, so she did. But I like it because I like the top one, my favorite. I love it. Um, if you know this channel, which you probably do if you're watching, then um, you know I like Lizzie Kate and you know I like words. So there you go. Can stitch that. Um, like I say that, like I'm not gonna stitch all of those things, please. Okay. And then this is in the same series um, of the photo booth, and this one is called Love Happens. Um, also with the fabric and the buttons. Call me. But love, look at this. I mean, stop. Look at those teddies. Um, I think they're precious. And a little cupid, and then yeah. So love it. Um, and then oh yeah, sorry. So Love Happens started category Uno Dos. Uno dos. That's not the right words, but whatever. Category number two, which is love. Um, and then this was the second one in the love category. This is from the Cricut Collection, number 335, called February. I love this. I love everything about this, but my favorite motif is the one on the uh, on the second R with the post office box, or the mailbox with the letter coming out. I think it's cute. I don't know. Whatever. So, love it. Um... Okay, next category, category number three, I just like something off my nails, um, is cats. Because again, if you know this channel, you know me, I have a thing for cats. It's a thing, whatever. So this is from Britter Cup Designs from their Britty Kitty Monthly Series. This is March, April. Um, and so the top, top one is March and it says Lucky Cat. And then the bottom one is April and that says uh, Bunny Hunt. Yeah, Bunny Hunt. Um... My favorite part is how there's little hearts on all the booties. I love it. I mean, stop. I don't know why. And there's even a heart on a little bunny booty. Look at that. I'm going to stitch that up. Okay. Again. Like, I'm not going to stitch this, please. Um, and then this second one in the cats category is Watercolor Cats by Seekus and Co. They do a whole series. My mom did the, what, the hearts one. Right. Um, and then, so this is what it looks like. You know. And what's really cool, I mean, I honestly, I mean, I just saw it and I was like, oh, cats purchased. And I didn't even notice until I got home and saw that, um, that, oh, it's number 46. These make watercolor cats, whatever. Um, but what I didn't notice was that there are all these different kind of stitches. So I think, yeah, I can show you without showing the pattern. But so there's all these different really cool stitches, like the, um, the Italian cross, the rice stitch, the alternating mosaic. So I'm really excited because the pattern is simple enough that it's like not going to make me cry my eyeballs out and I can learn a bunch of really cool specialty stitches. So that'll be really fun and Pam will help me when I suck at it. So cool. There's that. Um, yeah, those are really good designs. Um, I believe that she's selling out her stock. 
um, the lady up in Beaver Creek that we went to a couple weeks ago. Um, and Seekus uh, was based in Medina, Ohio. Um, but uh, if you pick those up, like, um, you know, El Cheapo, uh, they're really a good way to learn uh, specialty stitches. They really yeah. are. They do like watercolor pines, watercolor tulips, watercolor pumpkin patch. They do a whole. Yeah, there's 47 of them total. So if you want to look in, if you're, if you want to look in, what kind of sentence is that? If you want to learn some specialty stitches, pick yourself up a watercolors and have at it. Yeah. Seekas. S E K A S and company. Correct. Generally. Right. Um, and then uh, this next one, staying cats. So. Um, what um, I'm trying to remember because we did record this part yesterday. We just were like we didn't know it wasn't recording, so I'm trying to remember the funny things I said, um, and or not funny, but just wanted to tell you she doesn't remember you missed it. Sorry about that. It was funny to us when we said it. Um, but one thing that we do when we go to shops like this, like that we've never been to before, is that like we'll go in together and then we kind of like separate and then, like sometimes I'll be like Pam, I found this. You want this? Take it here. It's yours. And then, or she'll be like, here, weren't you looking for this? But for the most part, we just kind of like gather things together by ourselves. And then when we get home, I'm like, look what I got. And she's like, I didn't even see you got this. Right. And it's like kind of the fun part about it. So right. this was one of those patterns that she didn't even know I picked up. And I don't even think she saw it when we were there. But this is by Barbara Anna Designs. And it's called Live Love Meow. Sorry about the glare. Sorry, I'm not sorry. I love that. I love his big fat head. And I like the little mouse on his tail. I don't know if I like the pillow pin cushion finish, but whatever. Um, and the what I really like about this, and I have not seen this in really any other charts so far, um, is that the variegated and variegated threads used in Live Love Meow is a DMC variegated, which is cool. Because I'm using DMC variegated on my hippo and on my on my tribal cat so i love that um so that was barbara anna live love meow um next in cats uh and last in cats oh look fine um is britter cup designs again not their monthly series this is just pretty kitties six um and a whole bunch of them but my favorite is this one the one where it says bad cat because I think that's awesome. I feel like one of my cats would do that. I'd be like, oh, I just spilled this over. Like, yes, like the other day we were just sitting in the living room. And I looked over at the table and this is Muffin. And she just knocked something off the table and walked away. That's my cat. But I like them all. They're really cute. So. Um, <laughs> and then next category is Halloween. Um, and then this is a little tiny prairie school called Double Double. Love this. I think those cats are kind of weirdly shaped, but whatever, I'll deal. So, I love that. Cute. Um, okay, next one is by Amy Brooken. Brooken, whatever. Um, again, with the beads or buttons and stuff. This is Kitty for Sale. I'm sorry, but look at that cat. I mean, really, are we serious with the mane, please? Um, and then I don't know if you can notice that up here in the hair, it looks kind of curly cute. Like, and when I, when we got home and I was looking at it and I was like, what the heck is that? So I actually looked at it and I don't know if anyone has heard of this before, but it's DMC memory thread. I have no idea what it is. Mom had no idea what it is, but thanks to our handy dandy DMC color cards that we got, we, um, where you have to look and find out that what it basically is is copper wire that's covered in fibers and then you're able to like twist it and mend it and blah, 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 it and put it on your stitching. That's what her hair is. I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. She use that. That'll be fun. Um, and then the next thing in Halloween I got was a Prairie Moon. We all know how much um, I'm a Prairie Moon fan. We are Prairie Moon fans. Um, and this is Cat on a Hot Orange H. So it's a big wall hanging. I'll try and show you some of the detail on it. But see, there's the cat in the hot orange H. I love it. I love everything about it. So cool. And there's literally three colors. White, orange, and black. So it says that the color, these are done in Bill Swaz, but it's um, called lasagna. Sorry, I think lasagna is red, but apparently it's not. So there's that. Um, and then... Um, the another Halloween one I got was um, by T Tempting Tangles called A Bump in the Night. 
I love this. I love that fabric. I love the tilted houses. And I really like the costumes on the kids. Especially the tiger costume. That's my favorite. So that'll be fun. I'm super pumped about that. And it's charted in classic color works, DMCs, and then dinky dyes. So that might be a fun opportunity way to me for me to use sorry I'm reading the back. Um to use the dinky dyes. So look at that. To create the tiger twisted tail. Twist together three to six strands of each. What the heck? Oh that's cool. Okay. Sorry, moving on. Um my last one the Halloween the Halloween de resistance um, is egg lend in place, and I'll read it to you before I show you it. It says, uh, well, it's called All Hallows Eve, but it says, On All Hallows Eve, my ghoulie gave to me 12 spiders spinning, 11 werewolves howling, 10 snakes slithering, 9 witches brewing, 8 ghosts haunting, 7 bats in the belfry, 6 monsters marching, 5 glowing pentagrams, 4 thirsty vampires, 3 bony skeletons, 2 jack o' lanterns, and a vulture in a gnarly oak tree. It's a play on the 12 days of Christmas if you can't figure that out by now. Look at that, though. Seriously, stop. Get out of my life. I love that. I, I mean, Pam says a good point, though, that the little vampire guy kind of looks like he's from Family Guy, but we're going to get over that. So, I love it. Cute. Okay. Uh, last category is Christmas slash winter. Um, and so this is Reindeer Games by Country Cottage Needleworks. Been on my wish list for a while. I'm trying to make it focus. There we go. Um, super cute. Love it. And why are we not focused? There we go. There we go, people. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> um, and then another uh, CCN, Country Cottage Needleworks, Mary and Bright. I love the uniqueness of all those trees. I think that those are really cool looking. Who's ever seen a red and white striped Christmas tree? I haven't. Now I have. Cute. Um, next is the by the trilogy called Giggly Wiggly's Penguins. And it's best to show it this far away because you get the whole effect. But I love this. My favorite one is this guy right here. Because I feel like he's sad. And I think he might be sad because he's all the way at the top. Or he's sad because those two little baby penguins are pissing him off. I don't know what's happening, but I think it's cute and funny. And I like this one at the bottom with his... What are those called? Ice skates. Oh, they're cute. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the next two are prairie scores I've been looking for for a while. Um, this is Reindeer Roundup. I love that. Pam says she doesn't like the weird looking. He, she thinks Santa looks weird in this. But that's fine. I don't care. I like him. So I'm going to stitch him. Um, and then this is the night before Christmas. I love it. I even love the four ornaments on the side. So I'm probably going to stitch those too. Because, you know, why not? So cute, huh? I know, right? Um, and then next, the last thing we got, I got from... <laughs> Tapestry Angel. Tapestry Angel. Is uh, from Val's stuff, and it's Tis the Season. And I just like the little mousey on top of the cat. I think it's precious. And the floppy hat. So, cute, right? Uh -huh. I'm going to stitch on that fabric, too, because I think that's cute. Uh, and then the last bit of haul that I had were some uh, eBay purchases that we had. Uh, or, oh, I had. Um, and this was from... The shop in uh, Cape May, New Jersey. Thank you to Spice Dish. Spice Dish. Um, so thank you to Drew, who um, told us. That to wasn't give on me... eBay. I just called the shop. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So um, she knew what I was looking for, so she called the shop when one day when I was out. And yeah, Drew had a <laughs> conversation on on Mania about um, what was your um, Holy Grail piece to stitch, right. and he talked about a couple of prairie moons, both of which I've stitched. And um, he was on the hunt for one particular of those, and he called the shop in Cape May, which prompted me to call the shop in Cape May. Mm -hmm. And uh, I laughed with Drew because I I uh, called her one morning right after she'd opened, and she was like, "What is going on with Prairie Moon lately?" You know, True. it's just like word of mouth and popularity. It's and the internet, people. It's the internet. It is. Um, so this one is called They Will, and I say will because it's in capital letters. They will, too, fit under the seat. Stop that. So the curly cues at the top are obviously her hair. The cur curly cues at the bottom are snakes. And I don't know if you can tell, but they're little red tongues. I mean, please. And her red spider belt. Stylish. Uh, and then this was an eBay find. Mother Prairie Moon. Um, the hat and the cat. It's a play on the cat and the hat. Get it? So, 
the cat, like Pam said, is being impaled by that. So there's that. And I keep rhyming. I don't mean to. But I just love it. I think that, and this is called in just crescent colors. So you kind of stitch that right up. Love it. And now for the prairie moon dead arrest. What is it? Peace de resistance. I don't resistance. know. You keep trying to do that. I know. I First of all, you're not French. Second of all, so. I'm trying. Okay. All of our French Canadian followers will appreciate that. Second of all, I took German in high You school. only said pièce de résistance. That's what you're trying to say. Right. This is the prairie moon. It's been a Monday, people. Leave us alone. Um, so this is some, one that I've been wanting and wanting and wanting and wanting and wanting. Wanting, wanting, wanting. For a long time. If you know me, I like Wizard of Oz. Um, and this is called We Turn Back If You Was Us. Look at this, though. Stop it. Okay, so first of all, they're all wearing bunny heads. Love that. Um, this One of the signs on the bottom says Easter Parade. The other one says All You Can Eat. And the other one says Haas and Pfeffer. I, have, I know I just said I just took German in high school and don't know what Haas and Pfeffer means, but whatever. Um, and I love this. I don't know. I love everything about it. So this is also called To Be Stitched in Belsois Silks. I know that the overdodge like needs to happen. Look at that yellow brick road. But still, I don't know. Um, it's just, there's a lot. I mean, look at all those silks. Look at all those. And I want to be on the committee that comes up with the names that they do for some of these silks. Right. Like, um. Oh my goodness. Like Walk the Plank. What is that yeah, one? Petticoat Blue. Eiffel Tower. Magpie. Uh, Miss Green Jeans. Babbling Brook. Sister Scarlet. Vanilla Pudding. I think that the road is done in Butterscotch because it calls for two of those. So. Yeah. Probably. I am so if I never stitched anything ever after this, I'd be fine with that. This is like everything in my life. So, it also says you can stitch them in DMCs. Yeah, right. So, um, now Pam's going to talk to you about what she got while I run and go get the other thing that I forgot to bring to the table. So, oh, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, yeah, we picked up a couple of um, digital patterns uh, on Etsy. And they are from a Etsy designer called Stone Street Stitchworks. And um, I picked up the coffee corner, which I think is super cute. I actually like the red and white one much better than the oh, yeah, way better. gold brown one. So that's what I'll be doing. Maybe as one of my Christmas ornaments. You never know. We'll but Stone Street Stitchworks on Etsy. Yep. And I got one thing from them as well. Um, this is Bat Moon. Is that not the greatest thing? I don't know. This looks so cool. You know, once again, I say somebody stitched something unique, you know? Right. I'm all about that. A different shape, love a it. different motif. I love it. Very artistic. Exactly. Very talented designer. You know, like symmetry? Like my, right, my right. obsessive tendencies love the symmetry of right. this. It's really cool. Wonderful. And I think, oh please, yeah, DMC, 310-728-976, done. Yeah. Bing, bang, boom. Right. So, um, the last piece of haul that I had is this little doodad right here. <laughs> um, so, I have to give some props to, uh, once again, to Keepsakes and Barb, um, because she's all about the presentation. So, we walked into Keepsakes last week on Wednesday to pick, like, a plus or something, and I looked in there and I was like, what are all those bags over there that have little belts on them? I see one says, Pam. What's that? And um, it was one that my mom had ordered, and it was just for me, whatever. Either way, I was like, I know that that's for me. And she said, oh, that's the Lizzie Kate Mystery Sampler for Christmas. And I was like, getting it. So. Um, so Barb individually bagged up everybody I who had pre-ordered. No, stop. It's just so nice. The um, Spirit of Christmas Mystery Sampler. Thank you. Okay, and. So this is all the goodies that was included. We went. I went all out and got all of them. So, um, I really hope I get the second part in this really bag, too. I'm just saying. Um, it, we had to keep it in Mom's room because the cats like to eat ribbons and then puke them up all over our carpet. So, it's being held away. Yeah. So, um, this is what the thing looks like. It's a mystery. I still haven't opened it. I don't know what it looks like. I'm just kidding. I do, and I don't know what it looks like. But, I'm not going to show you because it's a pattern and it's a mystery. So, if you want to know, you can either look at my updates when I start touching it, or you can get it yourself. Just saying. Right. Um, but, look at all these little embellishments. I'm so excited about all these. 
Um, and I think that these are all the embellishments for the entire thing. So, fun, fun, fun. Um, don't you think that'd be all of them for the whole I thing? I don't know. Whatever. Um, and then I also got the Needle Nanny. Right. So, I really want it to focus on it. Come on. Come on. Whatever. It says... Oh, I had it there at the last second. It says Spirit of Christmas. Right. Whatever. Um, and then... All of the flosses. Super excited. Um, and... The, I'm not going to go through all of them, Pam, so don't worry your eyeballs yet. But this is, um, Weeks Dye Works came out with a brand new color. And this is called Oyster. And it's like, oh, that's perfect. It's like purple and brownish, grayish. It's really pretty. I'm really excited to stitch with that. But this way you can kind of see what the color palette is a little bit. So kind of muted Christmas tones, which I like. Um, and then the fabric. So this is a uh, 13 by 19 piece of 28 count cashew linen um, on Heartland by Picture This Plus. Very pretty. So this is, oh, that is showing up perfection. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm also nervous because it's one of those ones, like, see, this is how big it is. But it goes like this. So you're supposed to start at the top and stitch down, and I've never not started in the middle. I told her the trick <laughs> is because... Uh, usually you allow three around each side and if you want to start in the upper left hand corner uh, just lay a standard size post-it note on there that's three by three right. um, we'll make sure that we're Pro right tip. on that but uh, that's one way I've always been able to start things at the top mm -hmm. um, do you remember from watching the video earlier if we talked about the needle minders we got uh, don't believe we did. Okay, so tell we'll them. save that for next time. Okay, sounds good. That's we'll fine. save that for next time. We so, got some needle minders at um, at the shop, we so did. we'll we'll set those aside for next time. So now is our plans chapter. So Pam and I are going. We're going to Springfield to Illinois. meet my sister and brother in law for a yep. uh, weekend away. Uh, on Change of scenery, you know. Thursday to Sunday. Um, on the way from where we live to Springfield, Illinois, is Bloomington, Illinois. Indiana. Illinois. Bloomington, Indiana. I thought it was Bloomington, Indiana. Mm, well, we're going to Bloomington, Illinois. Wherever she's driving, so I'm just going to go. I don't know. Seriously. Whatever. It's Monday. Leave me alone. The Counted Needle. That's fine. And we're going to check out that shop. Maybe we'll shoot some video. Beyond that, whether we're home or away, you know what we do. We just keep stitching. Yes, we do. So we'll keep stitching. You keep watching. And that's going to do it. Uh, we might not record our regular scheduled Sunday into Monday video mm -hmm. because of our trip. Right. It might be substituted for <laughs> a on location at an out of town LNS that we will be at. Correct. So. So, Until next time. I'm Stephanie. I'm Pam. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.